Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison here, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 versus the Galaxy Alpha. So uh, let's take a look at that. And first off, I just want to say that both these two phones are high-end smartphones in terms of specs. So you're not going to have like problems with any one of them, but they do uh, have different specs. Uh, which could be good there to know um, but both here has this new kind of cool design uh, from Samsung which is a more of a premium uh, design for their smartphone lineup and it started with the design here with the Galaxy Alpha here which is the white smartphone here and then we do have the bigger uh, Galaxy Note 4 smartphone over here Uh, it's pretty funny here, they do feature very, very different backs and I, both feels very, very nice, but this one is more like slim, um, feels very, very good on the Alpha, uh, nothing that sticks out or anything, uh, uses very, very soft uh, material here, here more of a, like a leather uh, feeling. Uh, you can also see that the camera area is very, very identical, uh, but the camera is a little bit smaller here uh, on the Galaxy Alpha 12 megapixel camera versus 60 megapixel camera here, and they both have like a fingerprint uh, or heart rate scanner. Pretty sure this is, yeah, on both, uh, or at least it is here on the Note 4. Uh, you do have the speaker down here on the Note 4, and uh, you know, and the Galaxy Alpha has a speaker down here at the bottom. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, of course, big difference here, major thing about the uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Note, of course, as you can hear the name, it has the uh, famous S Pen, which has been improved even f further here uh, with the brand new Galaxy Note 4. Um, so um, that's, of course, more, more sensitivity in the pen and uh, you can have fun with uh, drawing stuff. So that's definitely a big thing here uh, about the Galaxy Note. Of course, it's also a bigger phone, uh, 5.7 inch display here versus the uh, the Galaxy Alpha, it's a little bit more compact, 4.7 inch display. Uh, the Galaxy Alpha also has lower resolution display here, way lower, 720p display versus the Q Quad HD display here. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 4, which has a resolution of 1440 x 2560. Uh, both are 32 gigabyte smartphones, uh, so both will perform very, very well uh, there uh, in terms of storage. You can see here that you do have this new, <laughs> this new updated, sorry, guys, this new updated touch with user interface here in the multitasking area, both a multitasking button here. So let's just open up a little bit more here on the Alpha so you can see that. Mm, oh, Google stuff, annoying. But as you see, it looks a little bit more boring here on the Alpha. Uh, you swipe, but uh, it looks so much more awesome here on the Note 4. Uh, if you ask me personally, that's what I think. Both have also a normal back button there. Both have this fingerprint sensor, so you can unlock your phone there. That's definitely quite nice. And as I said, both performs very, very good. Uh, but it, as, I, as I said, they have a little bit different specs. Snapdragon 805 here uh, on the uh, Note 4. You can see, you see way more apps here inside of the app drawer. But Snapdragon, or Snapdragon 805 chipset versus Samsung's own Exynos 5430 chipset inside of the uh, Galaxy Alpha, which is is very, very good. Uh, Samsung's own stuff it could definitely be nice there to have. Uh, so this one has a uh, eight core setup, a quad core with eight gigahertz, a Cortex A15, and then four cores, uh, Cortex uh, uh, or quad core with three gigahertz, Cortex A7. Uh, so that's the octa core setup, eight cores, what they call it, Mali T628 GPU, uh, which probably means that uh, Mali GPUs is very, very good for the old GTA games, so you're probably gonna get. I wouldn't be surprised if you see some better performance here uh, with some GTA games here on the Alpha compared to the uh, Galaxy Note 4's uh, Adreno 420, which is the latest like Adreno GPU. Quad Core 2.7 GHz, this one. It's not an octa core setup, but it has 
you know, four cores, 2.7 gigahertz, so way higher there than the Galaxy Alpha. Uh, but Adreno 420 is probably going to perform better there uh, overall in Game of Games, and of course, Game Loft is a major player. Uh, they do create a lot of games, so that's definitely going to be uh, quite nice there. Uh, if you go if you like a lot of game of games uh, also battery here a uh, big difference here in in battery life uh, it, only 1860 million battery here inside of the um, alpha versus a 3220 million battery inside of the note 4 so almost double the size there and this one also has a fast charging mode the note 4 uh, which is something that i don't really think here comes with the um, uh, with the alpha but as you can see here you do have a lot of similar uh, software features actually uh, even though they do look a little bit different here inside of areas uh, like settings There's something has updated this uh, but both have the latest version here uh, or one of the latest versions of or not the latest as uh, right now and there are no developer previews up but the latest version is out now for the public and the 4.4.4 KitKat you do have that on both devices so that's also quite nice but as I said both are high-end devices both are very very capable devices it's a lot about what kind of size you want and if you do enjoy the S Pen and the bigger battery life and if you think it uh, is worth that extra price because it definitely cost around I think around uh 50 percent higher in price or something i mean it, it, it's, it's a lot of money uh, a lot more money there for the note 4 uh but uh, then again both are good devices so um, yeah quick your comparison here and i might do some uh, app testing also or loading stuff up if people are interested so yeah have a great day